Hi kids, really good to see you again for our last bedtime story. Oh, it's really sad. We've, we've gone through the whole of the Jesus Storybook Bible and this evening uh, we've got the very last and exciting chapter to read uh, together. Uh, we may be joined by some different guests reading this evening and you may notice something that we're all in our pyjamas ready for bed. So, if you are uh, tucked up comfortably, maybe you've got your jammies on already, maybe you're not quite ready for bed, um, and you're sitting comfortably, uh, let me begin. Tonight's story is called... A Dream of Heaven. John was one of Jesus' helpers. He was old now and living on an island, which might sound nice, except it was a prison. The leaders put him there to stop him from talking about Jesus. But I'm sure you don't think a little thing like being in a cell in a prison on an island in the middle of an ocean could stop God's plan. Do you? One morning Jesus appeared right there in John's cellar. Jesus' eyes were bright, shining like the sun. I am going to show you a secret, John. Jesus said about when, about when I'm, I come back. His voice was like a sound of rushing waters. Write down was, write down what you see, so God's children can then read it and it, and wait with happy excitement. Then. Jesus gave John a beautiful dream, except John was wide awake when he saw it and was real and one day it would come true, all come true. I see a throne and on the throne is a king and the king is Jesus. All around the throne people are bowing down, there are gi- they are giving him their treasures. There are loud cheers and clapping, clapping and bright laughter like a thousand waterfalls and everyone bursts out singing a new song. This is our king, the lamb who died, so we don't have to. Our rescuer, all honour and glory forever and ever and every creature everywhere in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea joins in. And then, from all around, a wide, immense, beautiful silence. And I see Satan, God's horrible enemy, thrown down, defeated. I see a sparkling city shimmering in the sky, glittering, glowing, coming down from heaven. And from the sky, heaven is coming down to earth. God's city is beautiful, walls of topaz, jasper, sapphire, wide streets paved with gold, gleaming pearl gates that were and that are never locked shut. Where is the sun? Where is the moon? They aren't needed anymore. God is all the light people need. No more darkness, no more night. As the king says look, God and his children are together again. No more running away or hiding. No more crying or being lonely or afraid. No more being sick or dying. Because all those things are gone. Yes, they are gone forever. Everything sad has come untrue. And I see, and see, I have wiped away every tear from every ear. And then a deep, beautiful voice that sounded like thunder in the sky says, Look, I am making everything new. It was hard to squeeze all John saw into words and fit it on into pages and cram it in a book. All the words on all the pages of all the books and all of the world would never be enough. I am the beginning, Jesus said, and the end and the ending. One day John knew heaven would come down and mend God's broken world and make it our true, perfect home once again. And he knew in some mysterious way that it would be hard to explain that everything was going to be more wonderful 
for once having been so sad and he knew then that en- the ending of the story was going to be so great it would make all the sadness and tears and everything seem just like a shadow that is chased away by the morning sun. I'm on my way, said Jesus. I'll be there soon. John came to the end of his book, but he didn't write the end because, of course, that's how stories finish. And this is once not over yet. So instead he wrote, come quickly, Jesus. Which perhaps is really just another way of saying, to be continued, dot, dot, dot. Well, I hope you have enjoyed um, our journey through the Jesus Storybook Bible, telling the most wonderful story um, that has ever been told. And I'm just going to close really with a, almost a prayer which comes from uh, the Bible, from John's Gospel. And if you want to pray along or, or think on these words and maybe say them in your heart as well. For anyone who says yes to Jesus, for anyone who believes what Jesus said, for anyone who will just reach out to take it, then God will give them this wonderful gift to be born into a whole new life, to be who they really are, who God always made them to be, their true selves, God's dear children. Because you see, the most wonderful thing about this story is, it's your story too. Well, thank you so much for joining us for all of these bedtime stories over the past few weeks. It's been really lovely uh, to be with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I think Armand has. Armand has been here every story. And so for the final time, uh, it's a good night from Armand. And it's a good night from me. Good night.